It was the summer of 2012, and Susie McNeil's guitar player, Zubin, was getting married, so she needed a replacement on guitar for a couple of her shows. I kept hearing from my manager and everyone else, you need to hire Andrew McTaggart, you need to hire Andrew McTaggart. And my only thought was, what does he look like? I got a call from Susie's manager, Michael Bacon, and they said that they were going to come out and see me play at a pub in Toronto. But that meeting, as well as five more past chance meetings between them, never happened. That's who we met two times before that summer. She just doesn't remember. Is that what he said? I don't remember? <laughs> Actually, I don't. It's crazy how the universe didn't want us to meet until we did, until we were ready, I think, to fall for each other. I was scheduled to audition for Susie's band in 2008, but I woke up with a 103 degree fever and I couldn't make it that morning. Andrew was supposed to go on a Costa Rica trip that I went to in 2011, but he decided to save his money for a Scotland trip instead. It's a good thing they had never really connected before, because they obviously weren't ready. When they finally did connect, that was it. I remember as soon as I met Andrew thinking, ooh, he's cute. The first night we actually met, we talked all night long. The shows Andrew subbed in for went off without a hitch. I'm just a sub around here, no big deal. And after the gig, the band all passed around an acoustic and jammed on Beatles tunes into the wee hours of the morning. I think I really fell for Andrew when he sang and played Here Comes the Sun that night. I, I, I feel like that really sealed the deal for me. You know how it is. I knew Susie could actually sing, but when she started singing all the harmonies to that Beatles song, I knew that she knew what time it was. April back right Following that night, there were a lot of texts and even more hangouts until they decided in December of that year they would try to be together every minute they could. That month was fondly named Druzy Month. By the new year, they were going strong. And when the clock struck midnight on New Year's Eve, Andrew and Susie decided to make the upcoming year Druzy Year. And a Druzy year it's been. Hi, this is Susie. And this is Andrew. We'd like to cordially invite you to our Stag and Doe on Saturday, April the 12th. At the Polish Hall in Burlington, 2316 Fairview Street. There will be games, music, and very special performances. We might even sing a few tunes too. Come celebrate with us. Email druzymusic at gmail.com for advanced tickets. Can't wait to see everyone there. 